feeling pain and tightness in the hips and lower back. Meet me on the mat for this quick and effective stretch that will have you feeling and moving better in less than five minutes. Okay, so come down onto your mat in hands and knees. Take your knees a little wider than hip width or hip width, spread those fingers. And we're gonna shift back into child's pose. So we're just releasing through the low back and then you can come back up. So just easing in. This is a good stretch to do when you wake up in the morning is a dynamic stretch, just easing in and out of a stretch. Now, if you're already warmed up from a previous workout, you could hold that stretch. But when you're first wake up in the morning, you may feel a little stiff. The muscles are a little bit colder. It's a good thing to kind of ease in and out until you feel a little bit warmer. Now this time we're gonna come back and hold that stretch. So really sit back, reach those fingertips, ease back. If it feels uncomfortable for your knees, you could add a little more padding by doubling up your mat, especially if you have a thin mat. Sit back, reach those fingertips. So you get a stretch in the lats and the hips releasing that lower back. Now, if you feel like you need to ease in a little bit longer, for that lower back, you can. Just breathing into it. Good, bring yourself up. Now take your hands over to one side. I'm gonna take mine over to the left and I'm gonna shift my hips over to the right. So I'm just feeling more of a stretch down my right side as I shift to my right. Into the lats and my obliques. Feel free to hold any of these stretches that you need to longer. And bring yourself up. And then go the other way. Take both hands over to your right and then stretch over to your left. So leaning to your left. Should feel that down your left side. So you want to take deep breaths. You don't want to hold your breath. and bring it center. And then again, spreading those fingers. I got my toes down. I'm gonna do a little cat cow release. Cat cow is one of my favorite things to do when I wake up in the morning. Working through the spine. So remember, if you're feeling especially stiff, definitely ease into the stretches. Go with how you feel. Curl the hips under, pull the navel in. How are you feeling? Is that feeling good to you? It should feel good. Remember, it's really important to keep our hips and our, our back flexible, mobile, strong. All right, one more. And have a seat. Now take your right leg in front and your left leg back. So about two 90 degree angles ish doesn't have to be exact and then bring your fingertips in front and come forward. You can ease out if you want, if you're feeling especially tight or you can hold that. So kind of a modified pigeon stretch. If you want to take this leg back, you can, but if you're feeling especially tight, just focus on this front leg should feel that in the hip and if you're especially flexible, you can come all the way down. It really depends on how you feel. <sighs> Breathing into it. This is really good to do after like a leg workout, glute workout, just release those hips. <sighs> Walk your fingertips in and switch sides. Like to keep this really short and sweet. So about 290 degree angles, remember it doesn't have to be perfect. And then come forward. You may have one side, like I, my left side is uh, tighter than my right. So I ease into that a little bit more. Good, really listen to your body on this. Some days you may be, um, you know, tighter than others. That's normal.
One more deep breath. All right, bring yourself up. Nice job. Okay, so come back to hands and knees. Actually, we're going to come to a kneeling position. I'm going to double up my mat just because my mat is thin. And I'm going to take a step forward. And I'm going to ease forward so I feel that hip flexor stretch. And then shift back. Ease forward, hip flexor, shift back, hamstring. Forward, and then back. Forward, back. One more. Come forward, and back. Okay, all we have to do is repeat that on the other side. So we're going to turn around. All right, big... Nice wide stance here. Shift forward and keeping this knee right over the heel. Feel that hip flexor and quadricep and then shift back. Now, if you want to bring the fingertips down on that, you can. Come forward. Come back. Take your time on this. Remember, it should feel good. So hip flexor quad, hamstring. Perfect. Okay, one more. And shift back. If you're looking to firm and flatten the abs while keeping your core and lower back strong and healthy in under 10 minutes, check out this core workout right here. If you like this workout, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.